So, hi everyone, I just finished the book Hello World by Hannah Fry and I want to do like a short review of the book. I've got the book on my tablet, as you can see it, I have it on Google Read, I think that's the name of it, and I bought it for like maybe, I don't know, maybe one pound or something, it was reduced a long time ago, and then people have voted it for the June and July book for our LTG Math Book Club and I will put the links down below for you to check everything. So very quickly I just want to go to the general about the book description that you can find normally at, I think it's at the end of the book but because I have the ebook it's at the beginning. So, would you let your family's full medical history be made public if it would help find a cure for cancer? You are, sick, you are accused of a crime. Who do you want to decide your future? A human or a machine? Which driverless car would you buy? One that prioritizes your life in the event of a crash or one that reacts to save as many lives as possible? Welcome to the age of the machine, the story of a not-too-distant future where algorithms rule supreme, making decisions about our health care, security, what we watch, where we go, even who goes to prison. So how much should we rely on them? What kind of future do we want? Hannah Fry takes us on a tour of the good, the bad and the downright ugly of the algorithms that surround us. In Hello World, she shifts the lid on their inner workings, demonstrates their power, exposes their limitations, and examines whether they really are an improvement on the humans they are replacing. So, by the look of that, I was really intrigued. Recently, I've read, I've read another book, Weapons of Math Destruction, that's the book, oh, I want to get to the, co the cover, so that's the book, and it had a very similar vibe when I read the, like the general description, and I was very intrigued to see if the other one like gave me extra information, or if it was like any difference in between them, and yes there is even though if i go at the contents so if you take a look at the contents for hello world you see it speaks about power data justice medicine cars crime and art so and then it has a lot of credits and extra notes and bits about the author what other books she's written and and stuff like that and that's the title page and what I really liked about this book is the fact that it says the good things and the bad things at the same time. So it feels more like a um, debate. This is the plus, that's the minus. This is a good thing, that's a bad thing. So in my mind, for some reason, I compare it badly with Weapons of Math Destruction because it kind of has a general feel about it. But this one feels more... Like, it doesn't tell you everything's bad, which is what I felt about Weapons of Math Destruction. But basically, this one goes over some really good things that are happening. And then he also tells people how it can, some other things could be improved. And I really appreciated that. I also found like very interesting the chapter about the art, which was not, nothing related to art, music... Um, movies and stuff like that was mentioned in the other book so this final chapter like m was even more interesting than the others because it was about something which I never thought like algorithms and stuff like that could be used and how it impacts so even though I knew a couple of things about 
uh, power, data, justice, and even medicine and crime. The chapter about cars was, again, pretty interesting to me. And the chapter about art. So those two chapters were very new. Most of the things in there, I had a general knowledge about it, but I didn't know that much. And I was really impressed and very interested in, in those. And while even reading the chapter about the cars, it like, made me feel like, oh, I, considering what she says in this algorithm and stuff, I kind of want to buy a car from this brand instead of the other brand. So it gave me that kind of like feel, which was a good thing. Um, now, another bit I really liked is that the book follows on some research and some examples that are from all over the world so she, she doesn't focus on like UK which is a good thing or US she just like mentions other researchers from other countries and like how other people have been influenced and stuff which was very refreshing for me because the other book Weapons of Mad Destruction he focused on the US and I felt a little bit like disconnected but this one because he gave me the feeling of like more international it was even better for me. Uh, with respect to the maths that appears in this book, she explains more mathematical concepts in it, but all of them are really nicely presented. So there's nothing over the top. There's nothing you won't understand if you don't know a mathematical concept. She will just explain the general feel about it. And that is really that was really good for me. Um, also, the book is not that long, even though it has 270, around 280 pages or something like that. It basically finishes around 216 and then you have notes, acknowledgements and a lot of other bits. So it's pretty short and it's easy to read. The vocabulary is not like over the top. It's just like simple words and easy to understand concepts and then she tries to explain everything using n not that much like very complicated words or vocabulary i'm not sure if i have any notes oh i actually do have a couple of like quotes i really liked from the book and i thought i'm just gonna i'm just gonna read a couple to you just to give you another feel of what i mean by some of the things I just explained. So I have a lot of quotes from the chap the first chapter, which is power, and then I have a couple from justice, medicine, and I really liked the cars bits, but I'm just gonna focus on like the first two or three just to give you a feel. So in the chapter on power, she explains that usually algorithms refer to something a little more specific. They still boil down to a list of step-by-step -step instructions, but these algorithms are more, are almost always mathematical objects. They take a sequence of mathematical operations using equations, arithmetic, algebra, calculus, logic, and probability, and translate them into computer code. So I really liked how she explained what an algorithm is, and she like emphasizes the importance of maths in all of this ones. So. That's why I chose that quote and I oh, I really liked it. Let me go back. And then I have, they are fed with data from the real world, given an objective and set to work, crunching through the calculations to achieve their aim. They are what makes computer science an actual science and in the process have fueled many of the most miraculous modern achievements made by machines. So again, she's speaking about algorithms in general and I thought that was interesting. And then, I'm not sure if I want to, to give any more because I feel like I might tell you a little bit too much uh, maybe I would read another one from the chapter on crime so it says to my mind the urgent need to 
the urgent need for algorithmic regulation is never louder or clearer than the case of crime, where the very existence of these systems raises serious questions without easy answers. Somehow, we're going to have to confront these difficult dilemmas. Should we insist on only accepting algorithms that we can understand or look inside, knowing that taking them out of the hands of their proprietors might mean they are less effective and crime rates rise? So, you get you get the feel. I don't want to say more because I think that's that's kind of enough. And yeah, even though she explains that some things are like excessive when you think about like algorithms and stuff like that she also like explains how they're good and how they've done like very good things and it m- made us understand some things better and stuff like that so i was very impressed with this as a final thoughts i gave this book four stars out of five for on goodreads and yeah i enjoyed it Also, this is my first book by Hannah Fry, and I'm really curious about the other ones. So I will probably check some other books by her and see see what I think. So if you're interested in other books by her, at the end, it speaks about... So we have The Mathematics of Love. The Indisputable Existence of Santa Claus, The Mathematics of Christmas. So I think both both of them sound like... Oh, sorry. Both of them sound very interesting for me. And I will see if I can find them... If I can't find them in my local library, I will probably just, like, check if I can find them anywhere else on the internet. And I will... I will see. But I thought they were, like... I really liked how she like explained and wrote this book in the vocabulary used. Just in case you don't know who Hannah Fry is, she is an associate professor in the mathematics um, of cities at University College London. In her day job, she uses mathematical models to study patterns in human behavior and has worked with governments, police forces, health analysts, and supermarkets. Her TED Talks have amazed millions of views and she has fronted television documentaries for the BBC and PBS. She also hosts the long-running science podcast, sorry, The Curious Case of Rathford and Fry with the BBC. So in case you had no idea who Hannah Fry is. So, yeah. Um, let me know if you've read the book. What do you think about it? And, yeah, just let me know in the comments down below and I will put all the necessary links there as well. So, thank you very much and I will speak to you soon. Bye!